All right, so shoulder flow. We're actually going to start on our back um, with a little back of the head massage. So on our back, Baddha Konasana. And then we're just going to ease that lovely line across the back of the skull. So find comfort. Oh. Yeah. And we'll be here for a couple of, well, not a couple of minutes, but a few breaths. So if you do want to block underneath feet, which just helps me personally. And take the time, yeah. And then up to you how much contact with feet have got. So they might just have the outside edges, you might have the whole sole of the foot. So then if you've got space by the canasta, but if you don't bounce, yeah, up to you, up to you. And then when the body's just a little bit more at rest, there's that lovely melting feeling that for me happens somewhere around the torso. And just really easily just start to turn the head left, center and then to the right. And once you've done that a few times, you can then just start to add the breath. So exhaling when you turn your head. Inhaling, center. And exhaling, other side. And then when you've done that a couple of times, just see if you can allow the shoulders just to melt into the earth. To really just allow them to rest on your mat, on the ground. I'll make this one the last breath. And then before we really start to get into the flow, last little thing. Up to you how you want to come into it, but possibly wide leg child's forehead onto a block or onto the earth. If wide leg child's just for a minute just sounds a little bit uncomfortable. You can either just come to sit in a kneeling position, up to you. If you're kneeling, just take your hands onto your temples and your eyebrows and the hairline, yeah. Otherwise, why child? <laughs> and if something feels really wonderful in child's then go for it, but otherwise, Arms straight in front, so we get that lovely shoulder flexion. And then forehead to the mat, to a block. And then just have a little massage. On the block or on the mat of the head. So now we've got the front of the head. The shoulders are nice and easy. Nice and easy. And then just before we come up, if you take a really big breath in and imagine spreading the shoulder belt right out to the sides. And as you exhale, just imagine them melting back in together, in a little bit down. And just do that once more. Inhale, the shoulder blades really lift up. And as you exhale, they just drip back down to earth. It's like a little massage from inside out. 
and come up to a kneel if that feels comfortable on your mat. A couple of things. Essentially, we're going to be a low kneel into a high kneel, low kneel, high kneel. Brilliant. Whilst also doing a couple of different things with our arms and our shoulders and our hands. We've also got a slightly different breath. So we're going to come into a different position. And then once we're in there, take an inhale and an exhale. Come down on whatever breath suits us. Get comfortable. Once we're in that next position, inhale, exhale. So the moving parts, the in and out, we can do whatever we want. Once we find that position, we take that full breath and inhale and, out, and an exhale. So we start low, we just have a little wriggle of the shoulders, just easing in. And then we find that inhale. And an exhale. Whatever feels great. And then come up to a tall kneel if you're not already. Interlace the fingers and push the palms away. Yeah. Once you're there, inhale. Nice. And exhale. Come back down to your sitting back down. Yep. Make a little hammock for the back of your head. So I'm grabbing hold of the little dents behind my ears. And then on an inhale and exhale, we're just gonna move a little side to side action. Yep, but we're pressing into the hammock. Once again, we come back up to that tall kneel. Interlace our hands again. Just remember which interlace you've got. And then take the palms up. We're just gonna stay here, inhale. And exhale. And then drop back down. Yep. Arms stay up, but this time they're unclasped. We have a little shoulder reach, a little climb up. Yeah. Really nice. And then almost the last one. Lift up. Hands once again interlace, but this time behind. Only if it fits. If it doesn't, don't worry. Yep. Inhaling. And exhaling. And I just come to sit down, we're back to the start. Exactly the same thing, the only difference is we're gonna interlace on a different finger. So if your left finger was uppermost, it's now gonna be your right. Have a little wriggle as we stir down, check in. It might already feel a bit different. And then rise up. Interlace the weird way. Push the palms away from you and then squeeze the knuckles. Inhaling. So it's like you're squeezing the fingers. Exhale. Come to sit back down. That little hammock for the back of your head. Press in. And a little side to side action of the ribs. Inhale. And exhale. Come to a tall kneel. That interlace is once again the uncomfortable interlace. Stay here, no movement. Inhale. Exhale. Come to sit, release the hands, have that little climb. Inhale. Exhale. And then once again, lift up, interlace, again, the weird way. <laughs> In there. And then exhale. Okay. And then last little nice thing we're gonna do just before we find our first down dog, let's have a little stroke of the traps. If when you start to stroke, it just needs a little bit more for firm hands, you're more than welcome. Might go all the way up to where they insert. You might stay in that kind of bulky bit of the top. This is one where everyone gets really excited and just stays here for the rest of the class. <laughs> Other side. And then wait for your inhale. And then on an exhale, just pop the hands to the floor. Brief cat cow. And as we cat cow, just really push down through the palms of the hands, getting some action. Shoulders should feel a little bit more alive already, like you know exactly where they are on your body. Nice. 
last one. And then tuck the toes if they need to wiggle. Absolutely. And then exhaling downward facing dog. Have a little play with down dog. Just see how it's feeling on your shoulders, on your shoulder blades, on your upper arms. Last couple of breaths. And then inhale as you look forward, exhaling, forward fold. Really, really, really nice. It's all right. Stay in a comfortable forward fold, but have the legs straight-ish. The legs straight-ish. And then just grab hold of the elbows with the palms of the hands. Yep. And then just drop the head and then just swing the elbows forward and back. I know I've got my head because I'm looking at you, but just, yeah, that's it. And you might get a little bit of movement, but then if you drop and bend the knees, you should get a bit more movement going through. So then really bend the knees. And same thing, have a little swing of the elbow. Cool. It comes a point where it's an effort and then it's like, oh, okay, I've got it. Really let it kind of be dangly. So try not to make it too static. Let it kind of drape down. Everyone's super bored now. Stop with the rocking. And then when you're ready, on a big inhale, flat back. Yeah, let's get into it. All right. <laughs> Exhale, chair. We've got a few little reps of our chair. Inhale, once again, those elbows are held and they come by the ears. And that's just a degree. Mine obviously aren't by my ears at all. Perfect. From here, exhale, come a little bit lower. Inhale, push to stand. We've got another three of those. Exhale, chair. Inhale, push to stand. So arm stairs they are, really nice. Keep on sending the elbows back. Exhale to chair. Inhale to stand. Two more, exhale to chair. Inhale to stand, last one. Exhale into chair. Yep. Release the hands. Inhale all the way up. Samastiti. Whatever your arms and arms, arms and arms, arms and hands want to do. Exhale, hands come into the heart center. Inhale all the way up. Adjust the feet so whatever you're planning to do is going to be supported. And then exhale, forward fold, chair, or maximum. Yeah. Really nice, nice in control. All the way down. Inhale as the arms go by the ears. And exhale, forward fold, exactly the same thing twice more. Inhale, flat back. Exhaling, chair. Inhale, chuck the elbows over your head. If you can remember which hand was uppermost, switch it. If you can't, and it's painful, don't worry. From here, exhale a little bit lower. Inhale, push to straighten up. Exhale, chair. Yeah, really nice. Inhale, push to straighten up. Nice and in. Exhale, chair. Good. A little bit lower, tiny bit lower. Inhale to stand. Last one. Exhale, set the hips back, knees bend, good, chair. Release the arms, inhale, Samastiti, be standing to the Exhale as the hands come and find the center. Inhale as they climb back up and we adjust the feet. Exhale, Malasana, Ukatasana, yeah, good. With control, control all the way, the whole way, whole way. Inhale as the arms come by the ears. And exhale, forward fold. Just one more. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, we put us in the chair pose. Inhale, elbows chucked over the head. Exhale a little bit lower. 
Inhale, press from the feet, lift up. Exhale, long chin. Good, sit back first, really nice. Inhale, press from the feet, lift up. And now if you just, yeah, good. Exhale, chair, last one. Inhale, press from the feet. Good, it's a solid chair, Jim. Exhale, chair. Beautiful. Release the hands. Inhale, Samasthiti. And exhale, hands into the heart center. Yeah. Inhale, arms wide. Whatever you want to do, whatever feels great. Adjust the feet. And then exhale, as always, with control. Malasana. Inhale, arms by the ears. And then exhale, forward fold. All right. Inhale as we pause. Straight into it. Exhale, right leg is going to come back into warrior two, but the arms are going to be by the ears. So we've got warrior two legs, left leg forward, right leg back, but arms by the ears, that's it. From here on an exhale, we're going to just drop the arms down, just get them comfy. And then push into the palms as if you're making a little stop sign and really push into the heels of the hands. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, point the fingers down and maybe even the fingertips towards your chest. Inhale as we pause. And then exhale, just neutral arms. Yeah, just let them hang. Inhale as we Exhale, spin on the feet, wide leg, forward fold, arms in whatever position. If they're feeling great behind you, then go for it. If you're feeling nice and fun, then equally take that. Yep. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, push from the feet, turn the toes out, goddess. Inhale in, goddess. Exhale, on the move. Spin to the top of your mat, just downward facing dog. Ooh. Inhale, fly through to a knees down or a knees up plank. Exhale, back to down dog. Couple more rounds of these. Inhale, through to a plank. Exhale, push back to dog. Nice. Inhale, plank. Exhale, dog. Really nice, good. Really loving the speed, inhale, plank. Exhale, dog. Last two, inhale, through to a plank. Excellent. Last one, we're gonna end up in our downward facing dog, inhale, plank. Exhale, down. Really nice. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, however you want to get back up to that top of your mat. However, it's a bit hot for a hops, but maybe not. From here, we're just going to take a tiny little mini, a mini flow in between the left and the right sides. And then when we finish, we're going to take our half salute. So our little mini flow is those little floating um, runner's lunge. Uh, lunges, yeah. So right leg comes back on the exhale. And stay down, we're in a runner's lunge, really nice. Inhale, rock the weight back. Exhale, fly forward. And inhale, land the foot. One breath, one movement. So again, we've changed the breath. Exhale, left leg comes back, runner's lunge. It's just a little mini, little mini vignette. Inhale, rock the weight. Exhale, fly forward. Inhale, foot down. Nice, few more. Exhale, right leg back. Runners, inhale, rock the weight, exhale, float, inhale, land the foot. Nice, good. Exhale, left leg back, runners. Inhale, rock, exhale, float, and inhale, land the foot. Just two more. Exhale, right leg back, inhale, rock. Exhale, float. Really nice. Inhale, land the foot. Last one. Exhale, left leg back. Inhale, rock. 
You can have your toes up. Exhale, float. And inhale, land the foot. Push down with the feet just for a second. Lift all the way up and just pop the head above the heart. Take a few breaths. That's already quite, uh, quite quick and quite strong. So just make sure heat and blood pressure are in agreement with our moves. Yep. Lovely. And inhale when you're ready. And then exhaling forward fold. Yeah, we might just need more water breaks than normal and that's fine. Same thing on the other side, we've got our warrior twos. Exhale, left leg back. Warrior two, but the arms are by the ears weirdly. Inhale. Exhale. Arms just flow down. Have a little pause, set the shoulder blades. And then press into the palms like stop size. Yeah, really, really press into the heels of the hands. We've got a lovely length. Inhale to pause. And then exhale, do the opposite. So the fingertips point down, or maybe even they curve into you. Yeah. If your hand, if your arms are prepped forward, just take them a little bit back. So open up through the chest and the collarbones. Inhale. And then just soften the shoulders down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Whatever wide leg forward folds is going to suit you. Arms wherever. So have a little check in where the arms want to be. Maybe one wants to be up in a twist. I don't know. Yeah. Inhale to pause. Exhale, lift up, turn on the voice. A little bit lower, use the outside of the feet, they're really strong. Inhale. Exhale as we turn and face the front. Drop the hands, just downward facing dog, bottom of the shoulders. And then up to you. Inhale. Knee down or knee up. I'm going to take some knee down ones. Yep. Exhale. Down dog or tabletop. You choose. Inhale. A forward movement. Oh, there's some one legged actually going on. Crazy. Exhale. <laughs> a back movement. <laughs> really nice. Five more. Inhale. A forward movement. Exhale. A back movement. Inhale. A forward movement. Exhale, back knee. Last two, inhale, forward movement. Exhale, back. Can't believe you're all still doing planks. Tap to our inhale, a plank. <laughs> Exhale, land in your warrior, land in your warrior, land in your downward facing dog. Inhale as you look forward, and then however you want to get to the top. All right, a little half salute. Inhale, flat back. Yeah, we've done one flow already. We've done one flow, it's intense. Exhale, and it's hot and it's Sunday. Exhale, chair. All the way down, chair. All the way down. Yeah. Inhale, press, lift all the way up. Arms wherever they want to be. You can cross the wrists. Exhale as they just drift into the heart center. That incredible palm up. Yeah. Inhale as the arms go back up. Feet there, and then exhale. Squat, not squat, your choice. Yes. Inhale as the arms come forward. And exhale, forward fold. Really, really lovely. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, right leg comes back. It's just one as lunge. Inhale, press from the feet to lift up high lunge. And then just have a little play in high lunge with the shoulders. Yeah. Just have a little where are they in space moment. Inhale. And on an exhale, land that back heel. Yeah. Travel a little bit closer to that front foot. It's side angle, but both arms are kind of dangling. So it's a dangle side angle. This top shoulder, take a look at it. Take a look at that lovely round top shoulder, yeah. 
And then all we're going to do is we're going to circle that shoulder. So the arms are really heavy. And we just, yeah. So really get as much circle through that top arm. So um, Lou W, it helps if you bend the, the, uh, the circling arm. So you bend the elbow, you'll get a little bit more. Yeah. So we're just breathing nice. If you want a little bit more strengthening, that bottom arm can be by the ear. So you can still be circling with that bottom arm. If you want, I, I'm not going to do that because that's going to heat me up like I'm in the oven. And then circle the elbow, same thing, the other side, other direction. Yeah, good. Should really be feeling it, getting some lovely range of motion. And then just stay for a second, just check in. We're going to stay inside angle, but this time that top arm is going to be all the way extended. So the arm and the hand are straight in circle from, yeah, big rainbows. If you want that top leg, that front leg can be on tiptoe. And again, bottom arm can be by the ear. Up to you. Those are all going to make things more difficult. You might not want. And then circle in the opposite direction. Last one before we flow into standing splits, which I know is weird. If you've raised your heels, just pop them down. Inhale as we turn to the front of the mat. And exhale, standing split. If you need to reposition like I did, feel free. Recal the head in, flex the spine, and push through that standing. This is a little bit weird. From here, we're going to come back into goddess. So start to walk your hands to the side. So they're going to go towards the big toe side of your standing foot. So you're moving your hands off to the side, yeah. And that's going to take that floating leg, everyone's looking so that's weird. That's going to take your floating leg kind of behind you. That's it. And then from there, we can bend the standing leg, land the floating one, and fairly easily come into goddess. Everyone's like, that was not fairly easy. Whatever, however we got there, no one cares. We're in goddess loving. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, lift the heels only if it feels comfortable. Drop a little bit. Inhale as we pause, find the pelvic floor. Have a little bit of awareness there. And then lift up, heels down if they've raised. Spin to face the front of your mat. Drop the hands just. Downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Simple. Exhale onto your belly. Inhaling. Locus. Exhale, downward. Inhale, arms underneath shoulders, hands underneath shoulders. Push up, downward facing dog. Inhale as we look, and exhale, whatever we're happy to do. Yeah, really nice. So before we do the other side, we've got that little flow again, that little floating flow. This time, if you want, your hands can come off of the ground. So from a forward fold, we inhale, and on an exhale, right there can come back. It's runners with floating hands, maybe. So it's exactly the same, that little, yeah. Inhale, we rock a little back to the back, which is quite tough. That's it. Exhale, we float. Inhale, we land. Really nice. Same thing, other side. Exhale, left leg back, run this lunge with floating hands or not. Inhale, we rock. Exhale, we float. Inhale, we land. Perfect. Really nice. Exhale, right leg back, run this with floating hands. Inhale to rock. Exhale to float. Inhale to land. Nice. Exhale, left leg back. Runners. Maybe a little bit longer. Nice, Jen. Inhale to float. Sorry, exhale to. Either way, forward fold, last one on each side. Exhale, right leg back. I was getting excited. Inhale to rock. Exhale to float. Inhale to land. Really nice, last one. Exhale, left leg back. 
Inhale, rock the way. Exhale to float. Inhale, touch it. All right, that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Press through the feet, come to stand. And once again, just pop the hand above the heart. And just check in, let that blood pressure re-establish. That's quite quick in this feet, just check in. Last breath before we fold forward. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale as you pause. Exhale, left leg comes back, run this lunge. And this again, once again, we can float. It doesn't have to be a inhale, high lunge. And we just stay here and we just check in with the shoulder blades and give them a few bits of movements. Where do they want to be? What do they want to move? How do they want to roll around? On our next exhale, we land the back heel ready for side angle. And then just come a little bit closer to that front leg. All right. We dangle the arms and we move from that top shoulder. So there's a lovely big range of motion from the shoulder. So yeah, arm is yeah. If you want more, this bottom arm can be by the ear. That's going to really add some weight, but that might not be for you this morning. So not. And then circle in the other direction. It's almost as if the elbow is kind of painting. We're doing a little circle, yeah, hands and And then we straighten up that arm, and now it's the fingertips that are doing the circling. Maybe with a tiptoe of that front foot, if once again you want a little bit more, because maybe the rest of the day is just just you in the garden, laying down in a hammock with a fruity drink, or if no, a fruity ice lolly. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know, so maybe you do want more. <laughs> Either way, we've got that weird transition. <laughs> Drop the hand, inhale. Exhale, start to spin to the front. Look forward. And then standing splits, other side. Yeah. Really nice. The head curls in. Leg is balanced, so we're feeling great. And then once again, have a look where your hands are. Start to walk the hands towards the left-hand side. And then take them a little bit so they're closer to the left heel. And you'll notice that floating leg has gone out to the right. You can then bend the standing, land floating, shift the weight into bodice. So, so, yeah, nice. Doesn't matter if it doesn't work or if you didn't like it, just come into bodice, who cares? Who cares? Either way, and got to see if you can get a little bit lower. So stick the butt out. Yeah, maybe the hips come parallel with the knees, possibly, and then land or lower on it. Oh, neither one of those lift. They're both L's, lift the hips. So lower the hips a little bit down. <laughs> lift up, land the hips. Just been forward, we're almost there. Drop the hands, just down the facing dog. We've done loads already. Inhale as we find forward into our plank. Exhale onto our belly. Inhale, whatever you want. And exhale, lower. Lovely. Inhale, hands underneath the shoulders, really good. Exhale, push up and back. Inhale to pause. Right. However, you want to get to the front of your mat. We're almost done, almost done. Once there, we've just got our little standing salute and our um, half salute, rather. And then from there, we've just got a really simple little flow to finish, and then we're just resting. Really simple. So that's that second flow completely done. So inhale, flat back. We've just done another flow in this loop. Exhale. Sit low and back, chair, low and back. Inhale, lift up all the way up, maybe look up to the sky. And exhale, let the hands drift into the chest. 
Inhale as you take the arms up and find the feet. And exhale, relaxing or whatever is best for the seat. You can take control, whatever. Inhale as you push. Exhale, pull forward. Three nice. The world's nicest, gentlest, simplest way. Inhale as we pull. Exhale, right leg back, right knee down. It's just a lunge. Just a low lunge. Yeah. On an inhale, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, lift the arms. Home. Exhale, down. Just our little reward for doing all that complicated stuff. Inhale through to a plank. Exhale onto your belly. Inhale a back bend. Exhale to lower. Inhale to press through the hands. And exhale down and facing. Inhale, just drop the knees for a second. Exhale, drop the elbows. It wouldn't be a shoulder flow without a dolphin. Dolphin, all those knees is really, really good for shoulders. Exhale, lift the heels and lift the knees. And just press the elbows down. And imagine squeezing the inner elbows closer together as your dolphin. So re squeeze the inner elbows. Lovely dolphin knees, really nice. Nice job, really nice. Keep the plate. Just a good stack there again. And then just drop the knees down. Take a couple of breaths because dolphin in the heat is quite intense. Yeah. So you can lower down if you're not already, Louise. Hopefully, your screen is closing. So it's all good. <laughs> Long as dolphin down. And then just enough so that you can wriggle and move the shoulder blades so they're down on the back. However, you want to come into the forward fold at the front of your mat. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, left leg back, left knee down. It's just a really simple lunge. On an inhale, back toes, back knee, arms up. Exhale, down. Inhale, come forward to a plank. Exhale, onto the back. Inhale, a back bend. Exhale, a dropping back. Inhale, to place the arms. Exhale, down dog. We're not doing dolphin again, don't worry. We're not doing dolphin. Inhale, to pause. And then this time, exhale, drop the knees. All right. Last little thing with me before you can have a little recover on your own. Absolutely up to you. If this doesn't work for you for any reason, you can come and massage whatever point it does. But we're trying a little, a little um, spot just behind the middle of the ear. There's, there's lots of mounds there, but there's one little mound in particular, about the size of maybe a halved break. If you find it, just give it a little massage. And then either with the same hand or with the opposite, so whatever kind of feels more easy, we're going to press into that little ball. So push into the ball, it's obviously bone. And then imagine that we can move the skin down and kind of towards our collarbone. So it's diagonally down. Sometimes it doesn't work depending. I've got lots of moisturizer on this morning, it's not. Working. But either way, press. And if you can get that kind of downed action on the skin, that pull of the skin, right? And then just move the other ear towards the shoulder. You can play with the placing of the head, it can be a little bit back, so your chin can be a little bit off. And then keep the hold. So keep that traction of the skin and replace the head. Hopefully that feels something. And then just let go. 
if you check from left to right, it would be lovely if they felt quite different. And then same thing other side. So we find that little mound, little bone, middle behind the ear, middle. Once we find it, we have a little massage and then decide if you want to use the same hand or if you want to take the opposite, which one's easier. And then we press in and pull down. So we traction the skin. I'm actually going to use a bit more finger than actually. And it goes towards the collarbone. And if you haven't already, just to take, the head, take the head towards the other. A little check on the head placement because it wants to be a bit further back. And then keep the hand pressing down to keep that skin filling in. But we place the head here. And then you can let go of the hands, have a little check on. My hope is that the head and the neck feels a little free after all that strength and mobilizing the shoulders. All right. As usual on the Sunday, we're going to finish a little bit later, but I'm almost tired. So we've got about three or four minutes to do as you please. You might want to carry on with massage. So essentially, just whatever feels interesting, you can press into there and then just move the head around. Absolutely. You might want to just come and lay down and just concentrate on breathing into the shoulders and then just letting them soften. Totally, totally your call. I'm going to put myself on mute because otherwise I will continue to talk. I'll see you later.
I'm really, really sorry. Just whenever it suits you, you can start to think about making some movement. Just allowing that little wiggle. It just lets your body know that you're planning on getting up and standing up soon. And if you're on the floor, then take that really lovely sideways rolling over. Everything's just all snuggled, curled. Everything's soft. And then whenever you're ready for that, take a few big breaths you can come to find a comfortable seated. Maybe enjoy a little shoulder roll, hopefully they feel a little bit pushed. And then draw the arms wide and high. Exhale as you give everything back. And then as you fly back up. Exhale, just be taken back down. And now the arms come up, arms meet. And then exhale into the heart center. Thank you. 